Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we are going to talk about Blue Dragon. Now, aesthetically, guys, you guys know how I feel about this girl. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. Look at her. Oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at the detail on this thing. Look at that dragon. That is freaking amazing. Loving the tattoo. I mean, oh. Me likey. And I can tell you guys right now that I definitely think that she's worth building. You know, I don't think she's going to be a top tier character by any means. But I do think she's a good freaking character. I think she's really good. Uh, she's she's fairly strong. Uh, not super strong, but pretty damn strong. Pretty awesome, actually. I really enjoy her. Uh, pretty easy to play for the most part you know a little difficult at times sometimes it's a little bit difficult to time the proc but i'll give you guys a rotation that will hopefully help you time the proc a whole lot easier and you'll see in the gameplay that we'll keep it pretty much where we want it for the most part it does get off sometimes but sometimes that happens now you guys can see that her energy attack is twenty nine thousand. she has max attack speed 29 crit rate which is pretty low but i believe she gets a buff uh then she has 176 critical damage not really high, kind of low. She has max ignore defense and max skill cooldown. And she has the leadership tag. So you can use White Fox with her. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to be utilizing White Fox. And the main reason for that is because my White Fox has a CTP of insight on her. And I, I just don't want to skew the damage in any way in case some of you guys don't have White Fox yet. Even though she is a free-to-play character. And I know a lot of you probably don't have a CTP of insight on her. As always guys, when we first test these characters, no Urus, all level 20, still level 60 character. And you take a look at her passive here, uh, applies itself, increased guaranteed dodge rate, good for her survivability, and gives her super armor, which is amazing. One skill, no big deal. Uh, her second skill has lightning resistance down, it stacks up to 30%, and lasts up to 4 seconds. And then the third skill has a freeze, which is useless unless it's in Shadowland. And then her fourth skill has an all attack buff. And yep, there's that crit rate buff by 30%. So you only need 45% crit rate to max out the crit rate. It does only last for five seconds. So maybe you'd want to have the crit rate maxed out, but I don't think so, guys. For the rotation, I don't think you need to do that. And then she also gets damage immunity, which is amazing because since she has super armor in her passive, her damage, she won't get guard broken during this skill. That's amazing. That is amazing. Her four star passive gives her another all attack buff and all defensive and all speed buffs. Girl's got a lot of buffs going on. Her fist skill has a lightning resistance down that stacks up to 40%. And this lasts for six seconds. The other one lasts for uh, four seconds, I believe. Yep. We're not really going to be using this one here, the, the second skill, because we, I do throw it in the rotation, but you're not really going to be taking advantage of the lightning resistance down for the most part. Uh, because it just doesn't last very long. Uh, and then you have the... We're, we'll, we'll talk about the Awakened skill another time. But she has all lightning damage. So it'd probably be a good idea to give her a lightning damage proc. Now let's take a look at these skills. So her fist skill is amazing. And you can't turn the SFX animation off. Uh, no matter what, you're still going to be playing it. In fact, let me take, let's check, it, check this real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off and you guys will see that it still shows up. There you go. So no matter what, you're going to have this on. But honestly, uh, at least in the run that I'm going to do, it didn't bother me. Actually, I quite enjoyed it. It was just weird for me because usually I don't like the... I mean, I like the animations. I like seeing that cinematic view. But usually it hinders your view of what's going on during your gameplay. But it didn't bother me at all. Actually, I was quite enjoying it. So yeah, that's kind of funky. And then her fourth skill, nice skill that gives her that damage immunity. And again, you won't get guard broken because she has super armor in your passive. Her second skill, which we will use the second skill, guys, but it just, I don't know. The one skill, pretty cool, but we're not going to be using it. And then the three skill, we will be using it. I do like those skills. Her animations are absolutely beautiful. And I'm looking forward to awakening this thing to see how much stronger she gets. Uh, I want to see how strong she gets with this skill as well. Pretty freaking cool. Something very unique to the Warriors of the Sky, which which I do like. But the rotation, you guys, is what I like to do is I like to start with the four. 
Uh, the reason for that is a lot of times when you start with the 5, the 5 and the 4 both do a lot of damage. But if you start with the 5, a lot of times the proc will hit. Well, here's the thing about the 5. If you let the 5 play out, and then when it goes into the uh, this screen right here, when it goes out of the cinematic view, you will start getting all lots of residual damage plus that lightning resistance down. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit your 5, and then go into the 4 and get your damage proc on the 4 combined with the residual damage of the 5. But because that 5 will set off your proc, usually, what you want to start with is your 4. I always start with the 4. Usually the damage proc will hit on the 4. She does a lot of hits. And then if you want, you can throw in the 2 and then do the 3. Then you want to go into your 5 and then go right into your 4 and hopefully get the damage proc on the 4. The idea is to keep the damage proc on the 4 all the time. If it lands on the 5, no big deal. You'll just try to reset your rotation. You guys will see what I'm going to do in the gameplay. It's not bad at all. She has a stage 6 Power of Angry Hawk set. And look at this, guys. This is not an optimal obelisk for her at all. Really, you should have a lightning damage obelisk with a damage proc. Maybe like a... Crit damage would be good, like lightning damage or double lightning damage, or lightning damage with crit damage and a 200% damage proc. But I didn't have any lightning damage obelisk, so this is what we're going to go with. So you could definitely, you know, skew her damage even more by giving her more elements. Uh, really, I think a CTP of Judgment would be really awesome on this girl. Of course, her rage will be awesome, blah, blah, blah. We all know rage is going to be better for most characters, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I think that goes without saying, guys. But she's freaking awesome. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take her into uh, just a little run with just to see what her damage is pretty much by itself. And then we're going to kind of go all out and see what she can do. So let's rock and roll. Okay, guys, so here we are. And in the first run, we're just going to use, and I didn't even mention this, but... Blue Dragon has a 65% leadership, and we're going to put Coulson with her for his 45% damage on super and 20% guaranteed critical rate. We just got Daisy in there for fun because she's one of the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Just thought I'd match with Coulson. And just Scarlet. Now keep in mind, guys, my Scarlet does not have a damage proc on her at all. She has nothing on her. So the only thing she's applying is just that mind control and her little bit of all defense down, and that's it. And we're just doing it to keep Ebony crowd control because they'll start running around iframing all over the place. And yeah, this is a stage 60 with one support. One support. I mean, not bad guys. Not bad at all. And you can see what I'm doing. You'll hit the five, and when there's two, you'll hit the five when there's two seconds left on the four skill. And that seems to work out really well. So we're gonna hit the five, and then we're gonna hit our four skill, and there's our damage prop. Now it is, like I said, I throw in the two and then I throw in the three afterwards. And yeah, man, she's pretty sweet character. We're just going to do run this for two minutes, but I'm actually fairly impressed with her. I'm not going to, like I said, guys, I don't think she's top tier by any means, but I do think she is a very good character for sure. Like, you know, to do stage 60 with just one striker, uh, Scarlet and just one support and with this build is pretty awesome guys like seriously this is pretty awesome you know having just a 140 proc and not even having lightning damage on it and no Uru's level 60 it's it's pretty amazing like it's it's pretty amazing and something else about doing that 5-4 combo is getting your lightning resistance down from the 5 during the damage proc on the 4 plus that residual damage from the 5 all at the same time and man, she she's got some she's got some power. She does pretty freaking good. I'm loving old Blue Dragon. So we're gonna pause it, okay? So you guys can see that she took down Ebony with one support, a crappy build, down to a little over eight and a half bars, which I think is pretty amazing. Now let's kind of go all out. Alrighty, guys. So I, the reason I say kind of go all out is because we're not using White Fox. White Fox could actually increase Blue Dragon's lightning resistance down, but the thing about that is Blue Dragon has a 65% leadership, and White Fox will offer 60% damage to other supervillains, so if you put her in the leadership, 
then she'll offer that extra lightning resistance down. But then when you put Blue Dragon in the side slot, you're not taking advantage of her leadership. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a double-edged sword, honestly, whether you put Blue Dragon in there as a leadership or White Fox as a leadership. You know, personally, I just would rather utilize Blue Dragon's leadership. And I'm using, I'm, and I also say kind of because I, I mentioned earlier that I have a CTP of Insight on White Fox, and I didn't want to skew the damage any more than what we already are with the all-defense down strikers. So I just got Colson and Shuri in there and just Blue Dragon with this crappy build doing stage 75. Now I do have Anti-Venom in there because man, that freaking, them Toxic Meteorites can really do a number on her. They can take a lot of damage from her. She doesn't have a heal. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and have Anti-Venom in there. But we are running with Scarlet and Silver Surfer and we are running with Sue and Weapon Hex. And yeah, she's doing pretty good. She's actually running a little bit behind. I did try a higher stage. I was actually trying like stage 80 and I would come pretty close, but it just wasn't very consistent. And I, I wanted to show you guys a run that's actually more consistent. She can consistently do stage 75 with this build, this team, these strikers. I mean, some runs will be better than others, obviously because of the RNG of the all defense downs, but look at that. Look at that damage guys. Like, She's pretty amazing. I'm loving her. And if you guys notice, watch, watch I'll hit when I hit that co-op skill. I usually hit the co-op skill when there's one second left on the fifth skill, like just, like I just did, hit the fifth skill, then go into the four. You always want to hit the fifth skill with two seconds left on the fifth skill, then go into the four. And always start at the beginning of the fight, start with the four. Oh yeah, look at her go. And Scarlet, there's Scarlet, there she is. And it's going to be real interesting to see what happens whenever Netmarble changes the strikers. I don't know what they're going to do, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens then. Man, look at this. This is pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. Stage 75. <laughs> yeah, level 60 character. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And again, my Scarlet does not have a damage proc on her. Nothing. So pretty cool. And by the way, guys, Blue Dragon, freaking love her animations. I think they're absolutely beautiful, just like her, man. Oh, my God. Loving it. Loving it. And you see, we're down to five bars, and we got over two minutes left. So she can go higher than this for sure, guys. But again, consistently, stage 75 is really about where she's at on my account, having 83% energy attack on my cards. Now we're going to hit our co-op. Then hit our five when there's two seconds left on the five and then hit our four. And look at that. And usually when you time that co-op that way, you seem to get the all defense down pretty much about every time. Not always, but for the most part, most of the time. And man, you can do a crap ton of damage. It's freaking amazing. You could probably do this without anti-venom guys. Like you don't really need him, but it makes it a whole lot easier and a whole lot more consistent as far as staying alive. She is freaking getting it done. Look at this. Look, look at that. Yeah. One more strike and it's over. It's over. We're going to have a minute left. Oh, snap. Minute five seconds left, guys. I'm stage 75 with a level 60 character. 140 proc. Don't even have any lightning damage on the proc. Uh, no Uru's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me so i'm loving blue dragon and i almost got her potential raised so yeah i will be doing videos on this girl in the future and let me know what video you guys would like to see which one of the warriors of the sky you would like to see next so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one